gate is wide, for many who choose that way. But the gateway to life is very narrow, and the road is difficult, and only a few find it. I think, I think God's being very specific here in saying that there's going to be a few people that choose the narrow road, okay? Because the wide road is popular, and the wide road is easy. And so when I look at health, I look at what is the majority of the people doing, and I actually try to go the different way. Because if they're going that way, they're probably on the wide road and on the easy road, and I'm going to look for that narrow road. And it says, it doesn't say it's an easy road, does it? In fact, it says it's a difficult road. That, uh, and that's why only a few will find it. And so when we compare that to health, that's the same thing. As when we look at health, many people are choosing the easy path. But I want you to choose the hard path. If you spend the rest of your life struggling to, to take care of your body, God is going to bless you for that. God will say, well done, faithful servant. He's not going to say, man, I'm glad you lost those 30 pounds you're trying to lose on, on earth. He's going to say, you did what I asked you. Even, it was, even though it was a struggle. Okay? Because I know some people exercise and taking care of your body is easy. But for some people it is difficult. But that's fine. God wants it to, God wants you to still take that road. And he's not looking for perfection. He's looking for you to just follow that road. That's what he's looking for. Okay? So, then the last thing is be committed forever. Because that's what you have. You have the rest of your life to take care of your body. Isn't that awesome? And so we're not looking for perfection there. You'll never get to a point where you're saying, nah, I'm as healthy as I can be, and I don't need to work at this anymore. You will always be working on your health, okay? That's the way God created our bodies. So I hope that this program has been very helpful. I am so proud of every person that, that's done it in the past and currently. It's awesome to see you guys committed to doing this and wanting to become better in your life. And you will see that... Uh, we advertise this program for many people, and yet we always see that we don't get huge numbers of people. And the reason why is because few people want to take the narrow road. And so I'm, I congratulate every one of you because you are on that narrow road right now. And continue to stay on it because it will, you will feel good about doing what you're doing. Okay? Now, as, uh, one thing I haven't mentioned a whole lot, and we don't really talk about it too much, this program is what one of the areas of uh, health that is absolutely vital, and that's truly your nervous system. Okay, I'm a doctor in chiropractic, and I never understood how important my nervous system was until I went through chiropractic school and I realized, man, this thing is the most important part of our body, our nervous system. In fact, that's how we live our life. Without our nervous system, you won't live. Okay, and because we live our lives through it, we want to make sure it's functioning properly. Okay. We're always asking people in our office questions, and this week, this month, we've been asking people uh, about heart health. And so I'll ask them questions about their heart, and then I ask them, what is it that runs your entire body? Now, a lot of people actually think it's their heart. Okay, your heart truly, in, in you know, physiological terms, is truly nothing more than a pump. That's really what it is. Now, if we look at it spiritual, I believe that it's a lot more than that. But uh, understand that that's what your body, or your heart is. So what runs your heart is your nervous system. What runs your stomach is your nervous system. And so I'm going to have Dr. Rob come up, and he's going to speak about why it is so important. He's going to help you to understand. Now, I know some of you are under chiropractic care. Some of you may have not under chiropractic care. And some of you may have been in the past and didn't understand why you were on it. And so you're not anymore. So what Dr. Rob's going to do is he's going to explain why it's absolutely vital to make sure that you have a properly functioning nervous system. So I'm going to let Dr. Rob take over. All right, thanks. thanks. Preach it, brother. <laughs> no. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. One second. Here's the hey, everybody stand up, okay? Please, just for a second. Stand up, stretch out for a second. Just be active. Just lengthen your muscles. Just, uh, go ahead, take a deep breath, and then uh, sit down, relax, and we will uh, we'll get started. Um, I started out, it, this information to me, it, it blows me away because the, the science behind uh, what we're finding out about how your body works is, it's every day, it's, it's blowing me away. And I've been doing this for a long time. I worked for, uh, before I became a chiropractor, I, uh, I worked in uh, sports medicine for about 10 years. So I used to work with athletes. I worked uh, in physical therapy uh, offices. So by day I was a, the guy who did the rehab for, for uh, People would go in, they see the physical therapist, usually after they had seen an orthopedic surgeon, refer to the PT, 
Pichi, the PT would evaluate them, and then I would get to do the rehab. That was by day. At night, I did all the rehabs for athletes, and I covered all the sporting events. And uh, I loved it. Athletes are fantastic because typically they want to get better. You know, they're people that they, they actually will, will push themselves and do what you ask for the most part. I loved it, but what I found was um, I wanted to have a family, too. And when do you have sports? At night. Okay. High school athletics, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, sometimes Saturday nights. Uh, college, same thing. Pro, boom, traveling all the time. And I knew I wanted a family, so I, um, I, I sat back one day and I thought, what in the world uh, am I going to do? I, I knew I wanted to be in healthcare, and um, I, I, didn't know, I didn't know what else to do. So I actually went to a, uh, started to go to school to become a physician's assistant, okay, a PA. Now, commonly, when you go to, nowadays, if you get sick, you go to a clinic, you're going to see a PA, right? And, 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 they t and typically, they take care of people who, um, you know, sick, colds, flus, that sort of thing. And so, I actually went, started to go into Normandale. I had to take a few pre prerequisite courses, and uh, uh, by day, I was still working in, in, uh, in sports medicine. And one day, I was sitting in my office, and I was like, oh, my goodness, what is going on? A light bulb went off. And, and the light bulb really was a question. It said, Rob... What is it that PAs do? And, and it just took me a second to, to realize that PAs prescribe drugs. Okay, so there's there's a time and a place for drugs. I realized that, but I realized also that that is not what I wanted to do with my life. I knew that there was something more to health and healing than drugs. Okay, I, I firmly believe God did not forget to put Advil in your system, and He didn't give you too many organs. Okay, is there a time and a place for that? Yeah. But I didn't want to do that. And so I, I didn't know what to do. I, I literally went across the street to the local um, uh, library, Harper County Library, and I started going through the health career section. I was like, what am I going to do here? And uh, I saw a book, and it said chiropractic first. And I, I picked it up. Now let me back up one second, okay? Because there's people that may be in this crowd right now, or people that you know are extremely skeptical about chiropractic, or maybe, uh, maybe naive, maybe just don't really know. I was the guy who told my patients, don't go see a chiropractor. I literally used to tell them, you know what they do? They make you come back forever. They never really fix you. They're not real doctors. All the stuff that I hear all the time now. And you know what? I, I, the only reason I ever said that is because of dogma. You know what dogma is? When you, you hear it enough times, you believe it even though you never really looked into it yourself. And so um, I read this book cover to cover, and I you know, over my lunch, and I was like, that's it. That, you know, and I literally went home that night, and I said, Denise, my wife, uh, I'm, I'm going to chiropractic school. And I had never even been to a chiropractic school. I went to chiropractic school, never even been adjusted before. <laughs> that's weird. Nobody does that, okay? So I did that. So so I, I, I say that because for those of you who may, um, may not have much you know, knowledge already, um, I've been there, okay? And so I'm hoping that this information I can give to you tonight is going gonna, is gonna to really open your eyes about how it is absolutely essential. It's a necessity, okay? And, and you'll learn that tonight. So I want to ask you here, anybody in the room here, by a show of hands, thinks think that exercise is optional? No, you need it, right? Okay. Anybody think that proper nutrition is optional? No. Anybody think that proper rest is optional? No hands, no hands yet. Okay. How about positive mental attitude, including all the things that Dr. Aaron talked about?